Sure. So today was a vote on the motion by the SNP to call for an immediate ceasefire. It was supposed to be relatively easy. Protocols were broken. Labour had an amendment. Conservative Party had an amendment put through. Yeah, what we saw happen in Parliament today, we're still trying to work it out. It's a developing story, but it's comical. It would be comical if it wasn't so serious. Parliament is complete disarray. The Speaker has just apologised of how he's dealt with the situation and will be speaking to key players in the next couple of hours. So we'll see if he understands that what he did broke protocol and they should allow a full vote on the SNP amendment, which didn't happen today, which was supposed to happen. But what is clear is that we're not going away because the real power doesn't lie there. The real power lies in the streets. The real power lies with the people. So we need to make sure that we continue the campaign, despite what happens in there. We decide to continue to go into our communities, to educate, to raise awareness, to put that pressure. Because we know history always teaches us is those in power that are last to understand humanity. So we continue, we can do the campaign. With Ramadan coming up, we make sure that everyone knows to check the label, boycott Israeli days, pick up the package, see where it's from, it's from Israel. Put it down, if the label's missing, it doesn't say produce of where, you can't find it. Put it down, it's probably from Israel. We need to make sure that no Muslim breaks their fast with Israeli days this Ramadan. Take the Coca-Cola challenge, the Coca-Cola pledge. This Ramadan, you stop drinking Coca-Cola, and hopefully not just for Ramadan, but onwards as well. Call the heat to boycott Coca-Cola. Check the label. Continue the campaign that actually in your localities. We've got next national demonstration on the 9th of March. We need to make sure everyone's there. This falls probably a day or two before Ramadan begins. This is also the deadline that Gantz gave, who's in the war cabinet in Israel, saying that if the hostages aren't released by then, they will go into Rafa. We need to make sure, you know what, we cannot afford to stop campaigning, cannot stop mobilising, and we need to continue whatever happens in Parliament.